So in this video, we'll see how we can append the queries. So here we are having two options to append the queries. First for the append query, second is append query as new. So what is append query? So basically if we want to combine two or more than two tables into a single table, then we can use the append queries. What it mean and how we can do this? Let's go to on Power BI. So in the last videos, we have seen how we can play with the query data and how we can play with the rows, how we can remove the rows, how we can keep the rows. So in this video, we will see how we can combine the queries. So before going to combine the queries, we just want to do one thing here. As we can see, we are having this US. If we just want to rename this US from another character, then we have few options to rename this. So how we can do this? Just press F2 over here and we can rename like US1. So it is renamed. Second, we can rename from this property. So here we can use US and it is renamed. So if you want to rename our query, then we can do this. Now, we just want to append the queries. So go to on home ribbon and here we can see merge queries and here we are having append queries. So we just want to append the queries. So here we can see, just click on this arrow and we are having append queries, append queries as new. So this time just want to use append query as new. We will wait. Here we are having three tables, Australia, UK and US. So we have to use this three or more tables. So US already here. So we can remove this or we can directly append what you want. So here we can add Australia. We can add UK and we can also add us that looks good now click on ok so we have to wait and here we are having this append one so this is the query and i just want to rename this like country sales so it is the combined data of australia uk and us and here we can see we are having this all data so I would say if we are having the column names which is not the same in the tables then it will be combined but extra columns will be added. For example in Australia we are having two columns first is ID second is name. In the UK we are having two columns first is ID second is gender. So after appending the query we will see we will have three columns first is ID second is name and third is gender so it will be combined but the condition if you want to combine only two columns the column names should be same in all the tables so here column names was same so it looks good and we have combined so if we use this append query as new so it is added in a new query so if you want to combine in the existing query, so we can use this append query option. So append queries, not two tables or more than two tables. Here we can use UK. Okay. So query is appended in the existing table. So in the Australia, the UK is added. So we don't want to use it. Just cancel it. And in the country cell, we are having all the data from Australia, UK and US. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will see how we can play with the columns. In the last video, we seen how we played with the rows. And in this video, we seen about the append queries. And in the next video, we'll see how we can play with the columns. So thank you so much for watching this video.